now for Top That Trade. Joining us today, Phil Flynn, a Fox Business Network contributor, and Alan Nuckman, an options trading pro. Here we go, guys, with round number one. Chicken dinner winner. The trade war is behind the drop in meat prices. So what's on your plate to trade? Chicken, beef, or pork? Depends on what kind of wine goes with it, but uh, I love beef, I love pork. What's wrong with that? It's low in carb, chicken, it's chicken good breast, for America. Chicken breast is at the lowest price it's been ever, so there are winners in the trade war. There are winners bacon in the is, trade bacon war. Bacon is cheaper because obviously is. there's no export to China, and actually they're doing without lobster over there as well. So Wait a that. second, now we're yeah, getting yeah, we get to I mean, there we well, go. Let's get back to pork. Pork yeah. has uh, become readily available in America, so that's surpassed, well not surpassed, but it's supplementing some of the chicken consumption, and so we're seeing 4% increase increase in pork consumption, 3% of beef, whereas there's only 1% in chicken. So how do you make money with that? Well, you know, Tyson ended up losing a lot of money because for the first time, like in a very long time, 27 they quarters because they export a lot to China. But hang in there, Tyson, because guess what? Those exports are going to pick up. We're still very concerned about the Asian swine flu. It's expanding in, 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 in Asian swine fever, excuse me. It's expanding in China, which means your imports of pork are going to pick up. So enjoy these low pork prices. Why? You can. I'm also an optimist. I think all, everything's going to gain. If you look at pork prices in the right. futures market, if you go up to next summer, they're right. back up to 80 cents. Now that we've gobbled up that trade, on to trade number two. Tide shift. Amazon is planning to deliver Procter & Gamble's detergent in a box, so will it give P&G a bounce? You know, I, I think it could. Innovation. Uh, innovation is good. Innovation didn't, is good. Didn't detergent used to come in a box? I'm concerned. Did you look at this box? It looks like the wine in the box. I'm afraid right. some drunk guy is going to come and okay. take a drink so of Tide when he's trying so to get his So detergent came fixed. in a box, and yeah. then it came in a bottle, and now yeah. it's going back into a box. Listen, and that's big news? It is big news because I'll tell you what, this can impact the sales dramatically of these companies. In fact, I happen to know that people in this industry, packaging is everything. And, and, and sometimes you can change the package and it can increase sales by 10 or 20 percent so it's an amazing thing and we're in a new world right who wants to get a big box of tide in the mail you know if you can they were ship saying this that a lot sales, easier digital sales are up seven percent uh there and you go. uh so things are things are going very well uh, as far as shifting forward, the stock itself been trading between 70 and 90 for the last four years. So a breakout of this 90 targets here, 110, which is 20% above. Slow and steady, Procter & Gamble. I mean, they're not going anywhere, obviously. I don't think they're going anywhere. On to round number three, gas blast. Crude prices are down 20%, while natural gas is up 20%. So which trade gives you energy? You know, this is this natural gas and oil market. It's incredible. Uh, in oil, opportunity. We, we've never seen anything Markets like it. We have. We like. We, we like have. opportunity. We have. And a few months ago, you know, natural gas prices were at two dollars. We're talking about record production. I we'll play, never play use play it the all. Tape. I asked you about natural gas about uh, six weeks ago, and you said not yet. I said, well, that's before the weather changed, which was like a week ago, right? <laughs> which is how it didn't the, do anything. The, does the weather Most change? Of the move was in two You're days. You're saying when it came when it came to winter. Actually, it usually doesn't happen that quickly. A good well, point. I think it. If you play the tape back, what I told them is to buy puts and calls because I said if the weather changed, supplies are 16% below the five-year average, which means if it got cold, it went up. But if it stayed warm so than we're normal, so above four in natural yeah, gas listen, for the first time in, since 2014, right. we could easily get to yeah. six based on the but, technicals. Right. So uh, there's more upside there. The other, well, maybe not. If the weather changes, cold. If it gets cold in, in winter, record, if it gets colder, well, it's above average or below average. You got to. It's all about heat degree days and cooling degree days. Okay? I try to make it very simple. Well, I know. That's why I oversimplify it. What, what I was going to say, what did I say? Buy puts and calls. Now the market's up. Buy puts because if it does warm up, record production will tank this market. It'll it'll fall as fast as it rose. Thanksgiving's coming up. So here's your bonus round question for today. It's a yes or no. Can wild turkeys fly up to 55 miles per hour? We've had this question before. Remember? We have. The WKRP question. WKRP question. If you drop them this out of the every helicopter. Thanksgiving, right? if, you, every Thanksgiving, if you drop them out of the helicopter, yes, right. they can go 55. That they're not going to the fly, question. they're going to drop. That was the same question this last year. Is yeah. this, like this going to be a tradition? Yes, Alan, you finally got it right. I have asked that same question for three years in a row. Third time's a charm. The third time is the charm. Business First AM continues right after this.